Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. In the last class, we have discussed Gina diode under special diodes. In this class, I am going to discuss another special diode that is tunnel diode. Tunnel diode. We can also call this tunnel diode as Isaki diode. Isaki diode. Okay. First one. Coming to this tunnel diode, the symbol of this tunnel diode, symbols are also very very important. Symbol of this tunnel diode is like this. This is the symbol of tunnel diode. In case of GNR diode, the symbol is in the Z shape. In the Z shape. But here the tunnel diode is different. It is both ends are like this. Both ends are like this. Here it is anode and it is cathode. And we can also denote the symbol of this tunnel diode is like this. This is also symbol of tunnel diode. It is anode and it is cathode. Okay. And this tunnel diode is also heavily doped diode. Very, very important point. Tunnel diode is a heavily doped diode. Heavily dope diode and the diode concentration is 1 is to 10 power 3. Concentration of impurities is nothing but 1 is to 10 power 3. That means here it is heavily doped means the depletion layer is very narrow. It has narrow depletion layer. Depletion layer or depletion region. It is uh, nearly about 0 0.00001 mm. Okay, it is a heavily doped diode and it has narrow depletion region. Okay, and coming to the characteristics of this tunnel diode, it is very very important characteristics of tunnel diode. If you take the characteristics of this tunnel diode, okay, it is forward voltage, here it is forward current, forward current. Whenever this forward voltage is increases, then forward current also increases at certain point. After this point, the current value is decreases as voltage increases. And it will reach us to certain point. After this point, as voltage increases, the current also increases. Current also increases. That means, here this point, highest current point is called peak current, IP value. And the corresponding voltage value is VP, peak voltage. And here, the current value of this point is IV, that is valley current. And this point is called as VV, valley voltage, valley voltage. That means here, the very, very important point is that this reverse bias it is uh, like this. Okay. As the voltage V of M, the very, very important point is when we apply forward bias voltage, that is a forward voltage, whenever this tunnel diode is in forward bias and if we apply forward voltage, forward voltage, as V of forward voltage increases to, increases, then the current value increases up to IP value. Current value increases up to IP value. After this IP, at, that means it reaches to maximum or peak current. Peak current. Further increase in VF. Further increase in VF. Then current value decreases to IV. Current value decreases to IV. And this point is called VV. Here indicate some letters. Here it is 0 and it is A and it is B like that. For this 0 to A, 0 to A, as voltage increases, current also increases and it reaches to peak current. Reaches to peak current. After this A, after point A, point A is nothing but peak current point or Peak voltage point, VP point. Okay. 
after this point A, as voltage increases, as voltage, forward voltage increases, the current value is decreases. Decreases, the current value decreases up to which point? IV point. Up to IV point. That is nothing but VV. The corresponding voltage is nothing but VV. After this VV, after point B, after point B or after point VV, uh, after point VV, as voltage increases, that is forward voltage is increases, the current value increases. Current value increases as ordinary diode. Ordinary diode. This is the characteristics of tunnel diode. The characteristics are very, very important. I want to explain one more time. That is, as VF increases, the current value increases up to IP value. After this IP, the current value is decreases as VF increases. And after this point, the current again increases as ordinary diode. That means, here in this region, in this, in this region, this region, in this region, as in this region, as voltage increases, the current value is decreases. As voltage increases, the current value is decreases. That means it gives negative resistance. It gives negative resistance. Very, very important point. Very, very important point. In this region, as voltage increases, the negative the current is decreases. Current is decreases. Decreases. That means here it will use negative resistance. It is the important application of this tunnel diode. That means it produces it produces negative resistance region. Negative resistance region. Very very important bit. Tunnel diode produces negative resistance region. Okay. Due to this negative resistance region. This tunnel diode used in used in high frequency oscillator. High frequency oscillator. Okay. In this negative resistance region, instead of absorbing power, it will give the power. It will produce power. It will produce power. This is the important application of tunnel. Diode. Okay, this region is called negative resistance region. Negative resistance region. This region is nothing but enlarged region. Enlarged region. Okay, this region is nothing but ohmic region. Ohmic region. That means as voltage increases, the current also increases. In this reverse bias, in this reverse bias, it acts as a resistor. Resistor. That means as voltage increases, the current also increases. That is linear. So, it is act as a resistor. Very, very important point. This tunnel diode in reverse bias, it act as a resistor. Act as a resistor. Okay, one. Equivalent circuit of this tunnel diode. Equivalent circuit of this tunnel diode. It is also very, very important. In the exams, we will give the equivalent circuit of tunnel diode in different circuits. Here the equivalent circuit of this tunnel diode is like this. That is R L C R in series. That is R S L S in C S and here given negative resistance. Negative resistance. It is the equivalent circuit of tunnel diode. And coming to the parameters of uh, this tunnel diode. Parameters of this tunnel diode. The first parameter, negative resistance, that is Rn. Rn is nothing but resistance value R equal to voltage by current. Change in voltage by change in current. And its value depends upon semiconductor material. Its value depends upon semiconductor material. If we use silicon and also gallium arsenic, Gallium arsenic. Then this Rn value is equal to minus 220 by peak current, IP. And if we use germanium, this Rn value is equal to minus 120 by IP. That means 
this negative resistance value depends upon semiconductor material and the second important parameters are ip by iv ratio ip by iv ratio it is very very important for exam purpose ip by iv ratio that means for good tunnel diode the essential requirement is for good tunnel diode the essential requirement is nothing but larger ip by iv ratio larger ip by iv ratio if ip by iv ratio is larger then it is good tunnel diode this ip by iv ratios for gallium arsenic that is a 10 is to 1 if we use germanium that is a 6 is to 1 and for silicon it is 3 is to 1 so the silicon has less ip by iv ratio so we may not use this silicon for this uh, tunnel diode okay so we can we use gallium or arsenic or germanium okay and next important parameter is biasing biasing of this tunnel diode this tunnel diode usually biased in usually biased in negative resistance region negative resistance region okay in this negative resistance region it will act as a oscillator or i frequency oscillator okay these are the important points in tunnel diode once again the first one tunnel diode is a tunnel diode is a heavily doped one heavily doped diode and here it is 1 is to 10 power 3 okay and the second important point it will produce as negative resistance region negative resistance region due to this region it will act as a high frequency oscillator high frequency oscillator okay and here the good tunnel diode it is depend upon ip by iv ratio the ip by iv ratios are like this and biasing it is always biased in negative resistance region okay and the switching time switching time of this tunnel diode is uh, picoseconds picoseconds that means it will act as a fast switch act as a fast switch than the normal ordinary diode okay and coming to the next point the operating point operating point mainly set at the center of center of negative resistance region negative resistance region the operating point is set at the center of negative resistance region and due to this negative resistance uh, this tunnel diode instead of absorbing power it produces the power okay these are the very very important points which will may chance to ask in the competitive exams okay friends Thank you very much.